Well, welcome. In this video, we're going to be looking at factoring a special case. In this case, it's going to be factoring a difference of squares. Now, just like the phrase sounds there, difference of squares, a difference, remember, is found when we subtract two terms. Um, so that's what we're doing here. We're going to be subtracting two squares. Now, if we are subtracting two squares in the form a squared minus b squared, that's going to factor to be the form a plus b times a minus b. In other words, if you were to take and go backwards and take a plus b times a minus b and FOIL that, you'd end up getting a squared minus b squared as your answer. So again, a squared minus b squared factors down to be a plus b, a minus b. So for these problems, our first step is to always look for the greatest common factor. That's always your first step. And if you need review for how to do that, you want to make sure you watch the video. Uh, but otherwise, always look for that greatest common factor. Now, whether there is or isn't, then the next step is to see if we have two terms to see whether it's a difference, so are we really subtracting? If we're adding, there's no shortcut, there's no way to factor a sum of two squares. But if we're subtracting, then we look to see, well, um, is it a difference of two squares? Are the a and the, or is it a squared and a b squared? So, for example, let's look at what we have here. 4x squared minus 9. There is no greatest common factor here, so I don't have to worry about that. So I see that I am subtracting, so it is a difference, but is it a difference of two squares? So what I look for is, can I take the square root of 4x squared? Yeah, the square root of 4x squared would just be 2x. Can I take the square root of 9? Yeah, that would just be 3. So my value for a here would be 2x. My value for b would be 3. So then I would factor this down to be a plus b, a minus b. So it factors down to be 2x plus 3 times 2x minus 3. And that would be my answer. Let's look at the next one together. 49 minus k squared. Again, always look for a greatest common factor. There is none here. So the next step is to figure out, is this a difference? Yes, it is. Is it a difference of two squares, though? Well, the square root of 49 is 7. The square root of k squared is k. So yes, it is a difference of two squares with my value for a being 7 and my value for b being just the k. So this is going to factor down to be a plus b, a minus b. So it's going to be 7 plus k times 7 minus k. And that's it. Let's look at the next one together. 16a squared minus 16b squared. Again, always look to see if there's a greatest common factor first. And this one, we do have a greatest common factor. It's 16. And when I factor out our GCF there, the 16, I'm left with a squared minus b squared. And sure enough, what we have in parentheses is identical to what we have up here in our form, a squared minus b squared. So we know that's going to factor down to be a plus b, a minus b. Do not forget to carry down our GCF. That is a common mistake that people make as they forget to include the greatest common factor that they factor out at the beginning with their final answer. So you'd have 16 times a plus b times a minus b. So I want you guys to do this last one on your own. 25x squared minus 100. So again, look for a GCF first. And whether there is one or isn't, make sure, factor that down completely. So go ahead and work that one out. So pause the video and hit play when you're ready to check to see if you have the right answer. Okay, let's check to see how you did here. You should have gotten that, you should have recognized that there's a greatest common factor of 25 and factored that out. So we're left with x squared minus 4. And that is a difference of two squares with your a being x and your b being 2. So it factors down to be x plus 2 times x minus 2. But again, don't forget to include your GCF as part of your answer. So your final answer is 25 times x plus 2 times x minus 2. Well, that's where we're going to end this video with talking about the difference of squares. You want to make sure you watch the next video where we learn about this other special case, which would be factoring a perfect square trinomial. So with that, good luck as you work on some of your assignments or watch this next video.